Good Monday morning, everybody. Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're watching the threat for some strong and severe storms this afternoon. We've got an interesting setup, kind of a northwest flow, which I'll describe here in a second. But we've got storms that could form over in Tennessee, Kentucky, and move across the mountains later today. Let me show you the wider view. We'll start first with the wide view here. And this is the current conditions. You can see this frontal system at low pressure. This is really what we're watching. This thing right here is going to be pushing down in this direction. So later this afternoon in the heating of the day, I do expect a pretty good chance of some organized severe storms. That means either Boeing segments, some kind of line, maybe even some small supercells. The tornado threat is not zero today. It's not super high, but for a summer setup, it's about a 1% probability. I really think though the main concern is going to be damaging straight line winds. And I'll show you the severe weather outlook here. We'll pop it up here and you can see that area in yellow, but also the area in orange, that is a medium risk for severe storms. And that does include Charlotte and points east towards Greensboro, Raleigh. So really along Charlotte and into central North Carolina would be the areas that we would watch for potentially some severe weather this afternoon. And what is our main concern? Well, I'll put the probability of tornado 2%. Um, I think it's a little bit lower than that, but hail uh, around a 15%. And then the wind probability you can see is around a 15%. So it's really driven more by the wind and hail, but there is a small probability you know, for an isolated tornado. Can't rule out depending on the setup. What's happening is this northwest flow, as you'll hear me describe, is, you know, typically you've got ridge or ridge of high pressure here and these disturbances ride up and over and come down from the northwest. And they can be pretty strong, um, especially this time of year because the low level flow is coming in from the south, producing the moisture and the fuel for these storms. So let's get into the timing of all this and break down the exact uh, details on when these are going to move in. Uh, we're, what we're looking at is the short range rapid refresh here as we go into the afternoon. I'll go into something's about three o'clock. You see three o'clock, uh, a lot of activity looks like it's forming up in uh, Virginia, but it's really going to be areas in the mountains that I'll watch for the development of these storms. And you can see as we get to about five o'clock, things start forming off the mountains, but looks like some isolated cells developing in and around the Charlotte area. We'll go to six o'clock. You can see some organized storms there. And look at this by seven. That's a pretty big cluster of showers and thunderstorms and some of these look pretty uh, severe uh, likely with some hail and damaging winds the fact that they're kind of more isolated is something we'll have to watch that could increase the potential that one or two of these could have um, you know localized rotation in them and then the storms push off through nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock becomes a pretty big cluster as it goes towards the beaches so heads up the coast you're going to see this later tonight into the morning hours so let's loop this a couple of times and this is an 18 hour loop so it kind of shows you the evolution of all of those storms moving off towards the south and east pretty quickly. And again, there's strong winds in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere out of the northwest. That's what's supplying some of the severity because the low level winds are coming in like this. So that difference in wind direction can really induce some pretty strong thunderstorms, especially um, this time of year. If you get some intense heating of the day, looking at the temperatures out there right now, um, you know, we're definitely a, a much different day than yesterday and Saturday, which was beautiful. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s. If we look at the dew point recovery. We're back into the 60s for dew points. So dew points have gotten back to, uh, more of a fuel for storm type setup where dew points are in the mid 60s. Now, as far as severity, we can look at the updraft helicity here. Um, and again, these are the, the, the helicity tracks, basically storms that could be rotating from the same model. And you can see not a ton. But you can see a couple of these do have some some rotational elements in and around uh, the Piedmont of the Carolinas. And I look at the, the sounding here. Um, there is some pretty good wind shear there, but I don't see anything, you know, off the charts that would make me overly concerned right now. Nothing. Let me go right here. We'll kind of go back. Let me go back one here as they're forming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the environment in, in Rowan County here. And again, severe probability, but some good cape, a little bit of wind shear, but nothing that's crazy high for tornado probability. So all in all, um, I think this is going to be more of a straight line wind event, but I would, you know, I'm not going to tell you it's a non-zero tornado threat because there is a chance we could see some of these spin up. So I'll be keeping a close eye on this later today. And again, the timing here, let's go. It's just probably more of an evening. So 5 p.m., 6, 7, 8, 9. So these could linger after sunset a little bit. So think a little bit later than our normal pop-up storms. These are probably going to be more dinner time and after as opposed to lunch or uh, mid afternoon into early dinner time. So again, let's loop this one more time. We'll go back right there's four o'clock storms start bubbling up at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock. So again, severe weather risk today is medium. 
Please keep an eye on the weather. If you do see some storms bubble up and you have outdoor activities, make sure you head to shelter immediately because these storms today are going to be a little bit stronger and more severe than we're uh, typically going to see in our typical afternoon pop-up thunderstorms.